A top Kremlin aide has confirmed that President Putin has received an official invitation to visit Washington for a summit with Donald Trump in the autumn. Moscow says it's ready to discuss the proposal. Donald Trump expressed willingness for a second round of talks after the two leaders met in Helsinki last week. Second meeting, potentially, with, with Vladimir Putin. Yeah. Is that in the works? Is it planned? Has it been yeah, talked about? Yeah, I would about? say it's in the works. Look, we had a tremendous discussion on many things. But the fact is we got along very well. I think I'd, I'd have a good relationship with Putin. You okay, let's go live now to Samira Khan in Washington, D.C. Samira, give us the background to this. Well, from what we know so far, the next time the two leaders meet could be at the uh, G20 summit in Argentina or right here in D.C. in the nation's capital. And apparently John Bolton, national security advisor, will be working out all the logistics the next time he's in Moscow. But uh, the last meeting, the uh, Helsinki summit that took place uh, last week, uh, provoked a total hysteria here in the U.S. Uh, the media accused Trump of treason just for talking to Putin, uh, calling him names like uh, a traitor, a weak puppy, a Kremlin stooge, uh, Putin's puppet, and even uh, accused him of being affiliated with the FSB and the KGB. So it was uh, totally outlandish. But let's check out what else they have to say. I, I don't know which side is the bride and which side the, is the groom, Anderson, but it sort of feels like we're at a wedding. Uh, you have been watching perhaps one of the most disgraceful performances by an American president. Why is President Trump putting himself in this vulnerable, high-stakes scenario and letting Vladimir Putin lead? A man that even President Trump now says interfered in U.S. democracy, invited to the White House. And now the president has apparently doubled down. He's inviting him to Washington. So let's collude again like we did last summer. Top spy in the United States. He doesn't know. How is that possible that the president of the United States is inviting Putin for a second summit in a couple months in the fall over at the White House? because the president he works for is Donald J. Trump. Despite media frenzy, a new poll showed that the majority of Americans support the upcoming meeting between Trump and Putin, and about 61 percent of Americans are in favor of improved relations with Russia. So Trump and the American people seem to be on the same page. I think we will end up having an extraordinary relationship, I hope so. I've been saying, and I'm sure you've heard over the years, and as I campaign, that getting along with Russia is a good thing, not a bad thing. And when it comes to U.S.-Russia relations, not everyone shares the same enthusiasm. Nikki Haley contradicts her own boss on the topic. We don't trust Russia. We don't trust Putin. We never will. They're never going to be our friend. That's just a fact. So it appears that Nikki Haley thinks that uh, human concepts like friendship and trust are necessary to uh, build bilateral ties between two nation states. But uh, President Putin's take was a little bit different. Regarding who can be trusted or not, and if you can trust anyone at all, I'm telling you, you can't trust anyone. Where did you get this notion from that President Trump trusts me and I entirely trust him? He defends the interests of the United States of America. I defend the interests of the Russian Federation. So domestic reaction aside, it looks like both sides agree that uh, diplomacy will improve ties between the two superpowers. So we're just going to have to see how this plays out. Yeah, we are indeed. Thanks for bringing us up to date right now, though. Samira Khan, live from Washington, D.C. Well, I spoke to independent journalist Joe Loria, who says that Nikki Haley is undermining Trump's efforts and any chance of improving relations with Moscow. Well, we know what side Nikki Haley is on. She's on the side that's calling Trump a traitor for going to the first summit in Helsinki. She's supposed to work for President Trump. In her very first speech at the U.N., uh, she 
slammed Russia over Ukraine. And this was just after Trump had said in the campaign he wanted better re relations with Russia. So she's been on this anti-Russian thing all along. She did say in that interview that uh, it's okay if they meet, it's good if they meet. I mean, she has to say that. And in, in a way, um, the American people are agreeing with Maria Butina, this 29-year-old Russian who's been arrested here in Washington. And her crime, according to the FBI uh, affidavit, is trying to build better relations with, uh, between the U.S. and Russia. That was what her aim was here, and it, it quotes documents in which she is saying, and that is considered a crime here because it goes against all the interests of uh, powerful forces in the U.S. that are opposing Trump to have bad relations with Russia. So uh, I think Nikki Haley's on their side.